Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are catching back up with our Mercury 3 uh, Explorer probe, as it's just a uh, 10 hours away from its uh, flyby of Mercury. Uh, we don't have a lot to do with it right now, so we're just going to go ahead and time warp. Uh, hopefully not quite so fast. But uh, this is exciting. This is the first thing that we've uh, flown past Mercury. And I'm way looking forward to the science that we'll get and the cool views that we'll get and all the neat things that all of our scientists are about to learn about the closest planet to the sun. All right. Uh, haven't quite made contact. Yep, there is our alarm for the SOI change, which means we are just minutes out. Boom! There it is! We have encountered Mercury! Yay! There it is! Tiny, tiny gravity well. I'm gonna go ahead and radio in for some science. Get our distant Mercury science. And then we're gonna make a small course correction to bring us in a little lower and closer to the planet. And then as we hit that peri... Merc... Periapsis. We'll just go with the generic. Um, we will be performing as much of a burn to slow down as we can to give ourselves as much time in low, close to Mercury to gather as much data as we can. That's uh, eight minutes until that uh, signal goes through. So let's just zoom in. Currently our periapsis is 281 kilometers. We would like to bring that excruciatingly low. If we could get just like a barn burner of a flyby, that would be even better. All right, there it is, 43. I think we could push that in just a bit. You gonna go for 34? Are we gonna risk smashing into the dark side of Mercury? Yeah, that looks like it could be fun. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna have contact with the probe or not. So we are going to, uh, I have to turn our RCS thrusters on. That's going to take another eight minutes, easily. But uh, it'll just tell us which way to go. We can do the entire burn there on RCS. And then uh, we'll be programming some instructions into the flight computer to do all the automated things, just in case we don't have a signal. So all right, we're coming up on our radio check for high mercury science. There it is. Uh, I guess we don't need that. Geiger counter, 30 science. Telemetry analysis, that'll give us 22 and a half. Interesting. Micrometeorites, that gives us 30. Okay, I'm just watching this up here to make sure it says such and such science added because we've had uh, issues with it just not giving us our science. Like that one just there, did not give us our science. Temperature scan. Come on, give me that payout. What? Seriously? Ah, uh, man, that's harsh. I'm gonna initialize the action group again. Come on, really? That's just not cool. Yeah, we totally didn't get paid out for most of that. All right, and we should be getting the... Well, did we not tell it to turn on RCS? Let's check flight computer. Toggle RCS, okay. Cancel that command, although it'll go through before the cancel command goes through. That's interesting. Well, it's a good thing we'll have several minutes of delay to hopefully orient ourselves and take care of some of this burn time. So, RCS is on. Good, we're in rotation mode. And, of course, going the wrong, wrongiest, wrong way. Uh, yeah, I should have just looked at the planet. I could seen the light side and the dark side and known which way to orient myself. Let's switch this into docking. Rotation mode. Oh, so much fuel because I can't turn off SAS because it will take literally minutes. So I have to lay on the keys. Alright. And we'll just be very carefully watching our periapsis figure here. Yeah, again, we have uh, exactly one ignition remaining in our AJ-10. We would like to use that as close to the planet as we can. Uh, not much of an overth effect here, but 
Every little bit helps, I suppose. So, yeah, and I can't cancel the command to cancel a command. That's just going to go really well. So we're going to issue a is command to toggle the RCS back on. And we're not going to have a whole lot of fuel left, are we? If any at all. Dude, bummer. Alright. Use that node. Might take a little more delta V than what the chart says, because we're five minutes behind when I plotted this node. What are we shooting for? 30 something? Thirty-five. That'll work. Okay, and now take a look at our path. We can eliminate this. Oh yes. All right, two hours. Two hours, sixteen minutes, ten. So two hours, sixteen minutes, and we'll just say five seconds. We'll initialize our signal delay. Throttle to 100, burn for, it probably won't take more than 10 seconds to issue through that fuel. Burn, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. And then we will decouple. I can unlock those tanks manually, can't I? And then burn for another 25 seconds. Burn. Alright, and I should have been issuing commands to do all this at the same time. Why is that not... oh yeah. Duh. I have a case of the stupids today. Log rads. Cord petroversion. And. Uh, analyze telemetry. So I'm going to have to remember to manually unlock those tanks. And that should do it. We'll just uh, scoop up as much as we can in this flyby. I'm not sure if we're going to have contact. I guess I could check on that, but... Spacing them out by a couple of seconds or so will uh, hopefully allow us to hit a few different biomes. And so now all I'm really going to have to do is ullage the motor manually using RCS. And hope for the best. So we got four minutes until our secondary command to radio in goes through and then we're good so we'll just speed this up a bit all right Can reset that one reset that one yeah these are the ones that we didn't get micrometeorite come on give me that payout yes Nice. And one more that, of course, didn't pay out. Of course. Of course it didn't. We'll go ahead and reset our delay to zero. All right, now we're just riding it in. Oops, I forgot to set up the node. I uh, I am dumb. Uh, orbit retrograde. That's all we really need to do. Because otherwise it's going to burn radial as I am currently. And that's not okay. Putting commands in flight computer automatically turns off SAS, which is 
interesting because flight computer is absolutely terrible at orienting itself. I should have just done this manually. So yeah, now our peri G periapsis, sorry, is up to about 45 kilometers. We're gonna warp. <laughs> we'll just let it figure it out as we get closer. Uh oh. We were showing some heat warnings there. What? Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Or is that prettier? It looks a lot like the moon from this perspective, except all of that brightness. Come on, flight computer. Figure out your shit, dude. I guess with all this wiggling, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's keeping the engine alleged because it can't figure out how to not fly wildly past the node. <laughs> oh, this is going to be painful to watch. It's, I... God, I hate using flight computers sometimes. I really do. Oh, hey, we are actually in space just above already. Wow. That was a lot lower, or a lot higher than I anticipated. Oh, uh, oy vey. Yes. That's, thank you. It's going to use all of our fuel adjusting this RCS. And I mean absolutely all of it. Uh, yep. Absolutely all of it. Come on, little dude. There's two minutes left. Let's just ride it in until we got about a minute. Wow, that's low. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think there's any features high enough for us to hit. Oh, come on. Flight computer, you're effing killing me, man. Totally gonna run out of fuel. I can see it happening. Go ahead and unlock the primary now. Mercury's lowlands. Uh, we're climbing again. Uh, I miscalculated by 15 or so seconds. Not a huge problem. I guess we'll be in low mercury space for quite a while. And we do still have contact. There's the burn. Fired up quite nicely. And out of fuel. And we're going to start logging instrumentation now. Uh, what happened? Where did my science instrument go? I didn't click anything. And I can just go ahead and do this. Oh boy. It's not throttling. The RCS thrusters transmit. Transmit. 54 science. Come on. Give me that payout because I'm not going to be able to do this again. Thank you. Transmit. Awesome. Another 54 added. Transmit. Another 41 added. Excellent. I think that's our complement, but I'm not entirely sure. Nope. And we've already got that one. Oh, don't have that one. Transmit. That must have been the one that I missed. Make sure that one goes through. Log 
temperature again. There we go. Transmit. All right. I, I think, yeah, that's all the commands we have in there. We can turn our thrusters off. We don't need to stall ourselves any further. And that's it. We did it. We were able to scan low mercury science, and now our science count is up to 406.9. Not sh too shabby. What's our final orbit going to look like upon exit here? Now, yeah, we were able to slow down quite a bit. Um, uh, no, no, we were not. We were, I mistakenly thought that was Mars. That is Venus. We were just swinging out a little past Earth. Now we're a little less past Earth, but no big deal. That's a huge delta V gain or a loss. And I think our inclination is such to where we're not going to hit anything else except maybe Earth in many years. So there's that. Not too bad. Way to go, little guy. You were a successful mission. We had a successful mission, everyone. Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's enjoy that. Oh, strata coloration is really cool. We uh, we had a successful flight for once. This only took like three attempts, which is probably the lowest number of attempts we've ever had in uh, any mission ever. Ooh, is that better? No, that's probably going to be too dark. Sorry, I'm making you guys look at that. That might be a good one. Well, I guess I'll get to be the judge of that, because you won't be seeing it until after I've made my decision. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's glad to have a uh, chalked up something in the wind column for a change. 100% successful flyby of Little Mercury. Well, uh... Yeah. In other news, we're going to postpone the second two launches of our Mars program and try to figure out what the hell is up with our launch window, why Alarm Clock was telling us uh, right now, and uh, Mech Jeb was telling us in like a year and a half. So uh, we'll be trying to figure out some of that stuff. So those launches are getting put on the back burner, but we've got some other stuff that we're going to be getting to, uh, as well as probably course corrections for the map set that will not map and the lander that will not hit land. So uh, those are things to look forward to coming up later. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you next time.